Um, I wanted to come to you guys today to share a little bit of my testimony. Um, I divorced, I think, a few years ago, about three, maybe four years ago. And in that process, after my divorce, um, or waiting on my divorce, the Lord told me to start um, studying marriage, um, relationships of a godly woman and a godly man, you know, kingdom woman and kingdom man. So I'm thinking to myself as, you know, oh, I must be, you know, God is preparing me for another marriage. And I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, well, let me get all into this of what, what I need to do. Well, um, like I said, I listen to people as far as relationships, um, Tony Gaskin, R.C. Blakes, um, and recently just a new one called Coach Rob on YouTube. Um, I began to look up just various Christian people, Dr. Miles Monroe. And when God gave me that of what to do with marriage, I'm like, Lord, I, I want to serve you more. Tell me how I can serve you more. Now, in that process, in this three years time, I didn't realize of the process that I was going through until recently, until my daughter said something. Because earlier in that day, I was in devotion and I was really down and depressed. I was thinking to myself, Lord, I asked you, you know, about me wanting to serve you more. Give me a heart that serves you more. And like these past three years, I haven't really been serving you or telling people about you. And I felt like such a failure. And so I prayed to God. I said, Lord, forgive me. Help me be um, more of a servant because I was feeling down to the fact that, you know, even with the pandemic, before the pandemic, I was serving, but in a different capacity. Well, during the pandemic, I stopped because there's family here that has health issues. So I stopped serving the Lord of how I wanted to serve the Lord. But that was the thing. It was how I wanted to serve the Lord. So I want to share this testimony with you guys because um, anybody who knows me knows that I like to sing. Now, can I sing? Heck no, I can't sing. But I tell people all the time, I can sing. I just might not sound like Whitney Houston, but I can sing. It might not sound good to you, but it sounds good to me. And that's all that matters. Well, um, my children all the time mess with me about my singing. I'll sing in the hallway, the bed, the shower, on the phone. I'll just sing whatever worship song comes to my head, I'll sing. And so my daughter always um, comes with me when I run errands. Very few times that she doesn't. Well, the car is warming up. She gets in the car. Um, I follow a few minutes after. And me, what I'm doing, I'm singing. So I get in the car. And uh, my daughter usually doesn't talk to me in the car too much. I used to have to make her you know, make her tell her to take out the, the, put the phone down, take out the earphones or whatever. But that day as I entered into the car and I was singing, I have in mind earlier in that day, I was in devotion of seeing how I wasn't serving God, especially these past, you know, three years and especially this past year. Well, she told me, she said, mama, you know what I noticed? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, here she go, trying to tell another joke about my singing. What's she going to say about my singing now? And she said, I noticed that a lot of people call you for prayer. And I didn't realize it made me think, you know, I asked her a couple more questions and things like that. And then I said, well, let me, let me think about what she said. You know, it made me stop and look back and meditate on these past three years. Now, here I am earlier in the morning thinking I'm not serving the God, God the way that I should. And it took my daughter to have me go back and realize how God brought me through a process of serving him. Not the way that I wanted to, but the way that he needed me to. And for like the past three years, you know, I'm thinking as God is telling me about study about marriage and this and that, that it was for me like, oh, okay, Lord, you about to prepare me for my husband. You know, I'm give me a new husband, a better husband. And in these past 
three years, there's been five individuals that have called me in regards to issues in their marriage, asking me for advice or what I should do, asking me for prayer. And one of these individuals I've never met, this individual told me that the Holy Spirit told them to call me. Now, have in mind, I never, ever met this person in person. This person just knew me from Facebook. The Holy Spirit told them to message me and talk to me about marriage. Now, I was, God had told me a few years ago to study about marriage. Here I am thinking it's for me. And it wasn't. It was for me to serve God and do God's will through studying that and giving them godly advice. And I just wanted to encourage you guys that sometimes, you know, during this pandemic, some of us are home. We're not serving the way that we should. That does not mean that we still cannot serve God. Sometimes on, on we think that serving God is doing, you know, feeding the poor. And it is a way, but it's changed. There's other ways that we can serve God. And that's simply by being obedient to God when God tells you to do something. God told me to study about marriage. And in this past three years, I i don't want to say counsel, but I guess I gave godly wisdom from the Bible and from other people that were, you know, that are godly on YouTube about advice in regards to their marriage. That was how I could serve the Lord. That was what God not wanted me to do, not what I wanted to do. I thought the best way that I should serve him, but that was the way that he needed me to serve him. And that was to study about marriage. And it was also to offer prayer. You know, sometimes I'd be like, hey, look, let me pray for you. Look, let's fast about this issue. And I just wanted to encourage you guys that sometimes when you're feeling down about you're not being able to serve God, you know, by doing things in the church and, and things like that does not mean that you're not serving God um, by just praying for someone, by being a listening ear and offering them godly advice. That is doing the will of God. We're to, to spread the gospel. We're to pray for one another. We're to um, edify, encourage each other, and just to be there in fellowship with each other. So I wanted to share that brief testimony with you guys to let you guys realize that there's other ways right now that we can serve. And next time you see um, a prayer request on Facebook about praying for someone, don't just do the emoji. Actually stop and pray. I try to make it a habit to pray. If they say the need, I'll pray for that need. If they don't, they'll just say, hey, I'm asking for prayers, you know, no questions asked. I'm like, Lord, whatever their heart is needing from you, I agree with them. And as long as it's your will, I come into agreement with what their need is. And through Jesus Christ's sake, amen. So be encouraged that you can still serve God. If you haven't called someone in a long time and you know they're going through something, call them and uh, offer them prayer. Okay, blessings to you all.